What does this decision mean? Uh, well, I suspect Nebraska will be playing football for a long time. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, I think I know what the question really intended. Uh, there are no other personnel changes that are being contemplated at this point. Um, I don't think that I'm the person to evaluate uh, the athletic standing of the football program. Uh, I've said all along, I don't, I don't hire and fire football coaches. Uh, I, I do participate in the things that I care about. Uh, I want to make sure that our coaches are, have the right values, that they care about the academic success of student athletes, that they care about student athlete welfare. Uh, I believe the current coaches of the football program meet all of those criteria extraordinarily well. Uh, we've got one of the highest graduation rates in the country, uh, and the academic grade point average is higher than it's ever been. I mean, I just, you know, you can't be more pleased with uh, the character and the, the quality of the athletes that they've brought to the university. Uh, but I'm not an expert on whether what's wrong with the program or disappointed with where it is. Uh, I don't know whether it can be fixed with these, with the current staff or not, and that's not the decision that I'm going to make. Hey, Chancellor, what, what, what was his response? I have not had a chance to talk to anyone in the athletic department yet. What's the monetary cost associated with his departure? Um, it will be in the neighborhood of uh, a little north of $2 million, 2.2. Uh, there'll be some additional payments made to him from a deferred compensation plan that uh, he basically has earned under the original contract and uh, some s other amounts just to get him through to this year. But the extension itself is somewhere around 2.2 million. Did he offer the resignation on his own or was he coerced to offer it? Well, I mean, coerced is a kind of funny word. Was um, he fired? I told yes. I did. I asked for his resignation and got I guess that means he was fired. Do you have a short list put together since you decided this a while ago? Do you have a short list of people you're targeting for a permanent AD? I have not thought about the question of a permanent AD. Beyond saying that it would be my expectation that I would uh, hire a search consultant to assist the university in, in pursuing that. Uh, and I will consult as broadly as I can with respect to uh, that issue. Will there be an interim in place with an hour a day? Well, you know, I, I'd like to say soon, an hour, but I don't know. I haven't, I haven't I've talked to people about that yet, and uh, I'll have to see what my alternatives are. Just Mark, Mark, you said that if you talk about him, you're going to talk to him again. Are you going to offer him the end of the job? Well, I, I'm not going to go into something like that. I, you know, uh, Tom is a knowledgeable person. He understands the athletic department. He understands football. Um, he and I will have a conversation. I will seek his advice on what would make the most sense going forward. Were there, were there things that Keith said to you that you found misleading later or about the state of the athletic department? Um, no, I haven't. Uh, I mean, there's nothing I can point to that. But he was honest with you? Um, you know, in all honesty, uh, Steve is a very positive person. I don't think he ever lied to me. I think he may have stressed the positive. Uh, more than the negative, but I don't know that that's something one finds fault with. What is the what is the financial state of the athletic department? Is the North Stadium project getting that paid for a concern and booster support? Is that also a huge concern that played a part in this? Um, well, you know, as I said, I, I I think that well, first on the finances, the athletic department largely from Steve's efforts is in sound financial uh, situation. Uh, the resources are available through the private funds of the athletic department of the foundation to make this transition without uh, 
interfering with the programs of the athletic department. Um, so we're we're in good shape. Chancellor, did you have a donor that came forward recently with uh, someone to buy two point two million dollars out recently? Did you have a large contribution of any kind? No, not to my knowledge. You know, it really is. I, I mean, I'm amused. I don't I don't read the blogs. <laughs> very much, and you probably understand why if you've been reading them lately, but people are sending me stuff I just got to see. Um, and, and there's a, you know, there is a, uh, I, I know what the image is, it's kind of the image I used to have before about athletic programs with, uh, and there probably are some around the country, where athletic programs with uh, members of the Board of Regents calling every 20 minutes to tell me what to do, or the chance of what to do, or uh, big donors calling to say you got to do this, you got to do that, and all this kind of stuff. You know, I don't know, but Nebraska may be a, a strange place, but I have not been contacted by a single donor unless they were one of the crank calls I got at home the last couple of nights that were, <laughs> could string four letter words together that I've never been able to figure out. <laughs> but other than that, I have. Not a, not a member of the Board of Regents has, has initiated a conversation with me or had a conversation with me about uh, these issues, not a single donor has. I think that's part of the Nebraska style. This, this program, as it should be, uh, is run by the University of Nebraska. Um, we try to do the best we can. We care about our donors. We care about our fans. We care about the credibility of the program. We care about the quality of the program. Uh, but uh, just hasn't been there. And it was a big surprise to me. I haven't been here for seven years. You know, I thought I'd get these calls all the time. I don't get them. And I'm not inviting them either, by the way. You said this was because you lost the football game on Saturday and you talked about the Nancy Final. But I mean, ultimately, how much of this has to do with football? Well, you know, as I said, um, I, football, the vulnerability of football, since it is such a dominant feature of our athletic program, probably encouraged people to come forward and talk to me about things that they otherwise were reluctant to do. And to that extent, the football program had an impact. But I don't think you make changes based on a football, single football game. I think you've got to make a clear assessment about what's happening and why it's happening and, and what can be made better and I think you've got to support student athletes, you've got to support uh, the program in terms of the recruits that are out there. I mean I just, I, I am uh, certainly uneasy about the, the furor of the last couple of days. I understand it. It's the passion of Nebraska for its football program and I understand it and I share that passion but uh, there is a there is sometimes a dark side to that passion. Yes, sir. Chancellor, in your opinion, what is Steve Peterson's biggest failure or shortcoming while at Nebraska? You know, I don't think I want to go there. Uh, you know, all I can say is I don't think, I, I think now I'm going to make the best decisions I can. My instinct tells me at this point that uh, Steve was not the person to move this program forward into the future. Um, and I think that we ought to let it leave it at that.